Baraka Yahawa, Baraka the Yahawa Shah, Baraka the Yahawa, Baraka the Yahawa Shah, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled The Place of Righteousness. Lord will, you are edified. Ecclesiastes 3 and 16. And Moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. All right. So underneath the sun, we have earth. All right. That wickedness was there. Why? Going into Esau's rulership at this present time. Let's prove that. Job 9 and 24 the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And who is the wicked? Malachi 1 and 4. Whereas Edom say we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. All right. Starting with the Renaissance. Okay, thus said the Lord Yahweh of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord Yahweh have indignation for ever. One more precept. Second Ezra chapter yeah, Second Ezra six and verse nine. For Esau is the end of the world. All right. World meaning what? His rulership. Going back to his blessing spoken of. Okay. And um Genesis the 27th chapter all right for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it to follow and moreover Ecclesiastes 3 and 16 and moreover I saw under the sun the place of judgment that wickedness was there all right so we are in the end of esau's rulership all right and once yahweh shah returns what happens and the place of righteousness okay and the place of righteousness why because yahweh shah is going to take esau out of power going back into Second Ezra 6 and 9, for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. And once this happens, this transition, what happens? By default, okay, the earth will be ruled in righteousness. Hence, the place of righteousness, okay? Let's go to Isaiah 63 and verse 4. For the day of vengeance is in mine heart, and the year of my redeem is come. And once this happens, all right, earth will be identified as the place of righteousness. Psalm 110 and verse 1, the Lord Yahweh said unto my Lord Yahweh Shah, sit you at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. And again, the focal point is once Yahweh Shah returns, the earth 
will be a place of righteousness. Acts chapter 1 verse 6. When they therefore were come together, they, referring to the disciples, they asked of him saying, Lord, will you at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? All right, verse 7. And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power, but ye shall receive power after that. The Holy Spirit is come on you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost, meaning in part of the earth. All right. So uttermost means what? And. E-N-D. All right. Verse 9. And this is the point. Well, no, Salakia. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud chariot received him out of their sight. Verse 10. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, and these two men were angels. Verse 11, which also said, and this the point, ye men of Galilee, while stand ye gazing up into heaven, the same Yahweh shot, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall also come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. All right, so just how Yahweh shot left, all right, he will return in a fathership this time. Okay, but the key point is what? Ecclesiastes 3 and 16. And the place of righteousness. All right. As soon as Esau, all right, is taken out of power, the earth will be a place of righteousness. All right, let's get Revelation 3 and 10. Verse 11, Salakia. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which you have, that no man take your crown. Right? And that's literal. Once Yahweh Shah leaves the spiritual world, it's on. All right, last precept. Revelation 22, verse 1. You know what, Salaki? I think it's... Yeah, there we go. Revelation 21, verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. And this new earth, what? A place of righteousness. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. Now remember, you can equate the first earth and heaven were passed away to what? Regarding the earth... Um, um, Regarding the earth, you can identify that as what? A place of wickedness. Because remember, Esau was in rulership. That first earth, that first heaven, right? And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. So this new heaven and this new earth, all right? Focusing on the earth will be a place of righteousness. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea. All right. Lord will you were edified. Shalom.